What's going on guys? Curly Susie here from Cape Breton, Nova Scotia. In today's video, I'm going to talk about my hair routine that I use when I want maximum curl definition. Yeah. In the summer, because of changes in the humidity and the weather, um, and because I'm swimming a lot, I find it is more of an effort for me to get a tighter curl pattern and I have to change the way that I apply my products a little bit. I'm gonna go through all of those changes with you and I'm actually gonna take you into the shower with me so that you can see the way that I apply my products because that is very, very important um, in shaping these kind of smaller, tighter curls uh, that I really like to have. Right now my hair is 100% dry um, and it's been dry for a few hours and that's when I like to show you guys my hair. I find if I show you my hair as soon as I style it, it looks a little bit better than how it would actually look um, during the day. So the first thing that I do is I get in the shower and I'm going to wash or co-wash or restyle my hair without using shampoo. I still shampoo my hair on occasion, but for the most part, I wet and restyle um, or cleanse my hair with just conditioner. Today I'm using this Maui Moisture Conditioner. I kind of bought it on a whim and did a review of it. Um, and if you'd like to see that review, I'm gonna leave it in the comment section below. I didn't love, love, love the shampoo and conditioner together, but this conditioner is great and it's lightweight. It was on sale um, and it gave me just enough slip to detangle my hair. So I'm gonna put the conditioner in my hair. I work it all the way through. I'm going to use the mechanical motion of my fingertips to cleanse my scalp and my hair. And then I am going to finger detangle my hair. And as I'm doing that, you can see that I'm kind of starting to form curl clumps. And I do this very, very purposely. I also purposely tip my head forward and kind of let my hair part um, in the middle of my head, like slightly back a little bit. Any of my fringe area of my hair is coming forward and the rest of my hair is hanging to the sides. I'm gonna use my fingertips. Um, I'm gonna open them up really wide and use them as like a super wide tooth comb to create curl clumps. And I'm gonna rinse my hair like this. The water is running through these clumps and helping to form these rope-like clumps and these clumps are absolutely crucial to me getting the shape, the style, and the curl definition that I want. And you will see me do this in all of my more recent videos. Once the conditioner is pretty much all the way rinsed um, and the clumps are formed, I'm gonna take my hands and I'm gonna sort of squeeze a little bit of the excess water out of my hair. And that is so that it doesn't dilute my products too, too much. Then I'm gonna add my curl cream. In today's video, I hate to admit it, but I'm using Diva Curl Wave Maker. I have it left over. It hasn't caused me any problems in the past. I did stop using their shampoos and conditioners because of um, problems that people have been having with their hair and their scalp after using Diva Curl's products. So any wave cream or curl cream that you have that you really like will probably work really well. Anyway, I'm going to smooth that through my hands and I'm going to use that, kind of using the praying hands technique and carefully smoothing it over those clumps without breaking up the clumps. And then I'm gonna give my hair a little scrunch without breaking up the clumps. Step two of the styling product step is I'm gonna do the same thing with my BioTerra gel. This is the only product that I actually say, this gel is the best gel, um, and that I do recommend you buying. I have never gotten a cent from this company. They used to send me free products, um, and then I stopped making YouTube videos, and they stopped sending me products. So this gel cost me $26 to buy at Sally, and I'm so cheap, and I still buy it. It's worth every penny. I absolutely love it. If you have a gel you already love, it's probably great. Um, but for me, this one's my favorite. Anyway, I'm gonna smooth that over the same clumps in the same way I smooth the hair cream, and I'm gonna scrunch that into my hair. Then I'm gonna get out of the shower, and I'm gonna plot my hair with either a t-shirt 
or a microfiber towel. Before I do the plop, I'm gonna carefully squeeze some of the excess water out of my hair. The next thing I do is I clip my hair up a little bit to create volume. So I'll use like a claw clip to kind of clip some of my hair up like this or up on the side and to keep it out of my face while I'm like running errands or cleaning up around my house or doing whatever. Um, and I'll let my hair air dry. This side of my hair, um, I let air dry all the way. And this side of my hair, I let air dry most of the way and then I diffused it a little bit. So the only step that I didn't show on camera and I really regret that I didn't, but I, um, it was just kind of an oversight is I didn't show me applying my mousse. So I'm gonna do the best I can to explain that to you right now. The mousse I use is this Herbal Essences Totally Twisted Curl Boosting Mousse. Um, and if you have any alcohol-free mousse um, that you really love, it's probably gonna work just as well, but make sure it's alcohol free. When my hair is about halfway dry, I look at it and your curl pattern should be already forming, but you might notice that you're starting to get frizz kind of like on the outside of your hair. And if you have curly or wavy hair, that's completely unavoidable. Don't try to eliminate frizz altogether, but you wanna make that frizz minimal and make the overall look of your hair shiny, sorry, and defined. And so I'll take about a golf ball size amount, like this much, maybe a little bit bigger than a golf ball. And again, my hair is drying. I might have like a little clip or two in it. I just take the clips out without disturbing my hair pattern too much and I rub this between my hands, just gently, because you don't want to crush it, and I tip my head slightly forward, not necessarily upside down, and then I use kind of the same praying hands technique to run that into my hair, and then I scrunch it up into your hair. And I know some people say, don't touch your hair while it's drying, but in this case, your hands are covered in mousse and it's okay. Um, and then once that's in, I will kind of replace the clips and give my roots a little bit more volume and I'll either let my hair continue to dry the rest of the way like I did with this side or I'll diffuse my hair a little bit like I did on this side. So that's it, that's my routine. Um, I feel like I had a great hair day today. I'm very happy with my results. Um, this side, I let air dry completely. I didn't use the diffuser at all it's definitely more defined, but has a little bit more product in it. I don't really know exactly what it's gonna look like on camera until I edit this video, but in person, personally, I don't find that my hair looks crunchy at all or like there's too much product and, and there's not a whole lot to touch. When I look in the viewfinder, these couple of pieces um, look a little bit stringy. And so if you found this looked like too much mousse for you or like it was hard, you could scrunch out the crunch a little bit or tuck it behind your ear and that's personal preference. But in person, I think this looks fine. This side, I let air dry, uh, I'd say halfway, and then I diffused it a little bit. So no diffuser, I get more definition um, and the curls are a little bit tighter, but I get less volume a little bit of diffuser, so like half air drying and half diffusing. I have more fluffiness and a little bit more volume. It looks less producty. I still have the definition, but not as much. I hope you liked this video. I hope it was helpful. If you have any questions or comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give it a big old thumbs down. Subscribe to my channel, and I will see you very soon in my next video.